In Life Writers, we read and study a published memoir over a number of months. We practice what's called close reading. And this is reading for more than just entertainment. It's active reading. It's reading where we formulate questions and then we look for answers as we continue to go through the book. We study what writing devices the author is using and how we can use what we learn to improve our own writing. And then every two weeks we discuss a section of the book. Today I'll tell you about the memoir we're currently reading in Life Writers. Hi, this is Patricia Chapontier and welcome to episode 35 of the Life Writers Vlog where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life stories. This is the memoir we're studying this time. It's called The Puma Years by Laura Coleman. The Puma Years by Laura Coleman. Coleman was in her early 20s, kind of lost, directionless. She grew up in England didn't have a meaningful job or relationship, so she quit her job and went backpacking in Bolivia, <laughs> okay? By chance, she ended up volunteering at a wildlife sanctuary in Bolivia on the edge of the Amazon jungle. What started out as a week-long stint turned into much, much more than that. She learned a lot about herself, what she was capable of as she worked with these animals, and she especially connected with this puma called Wyra. I chose this book to study in Life Writers because Coleman's writing is just beautiful. She's a wonderful descriptive writer and does such a great job with characterizing the people and the animals. She puts us, the readers, into her shoes and allows us to really live that experience she had. She is a beautiful writer and I know the life writers will learn a great deal they can apply to the stories they write. I thought I'd read just one paragraph from the Puma Years for you to give you a taste. This is very early in the book. It's page 18. She is not even coming to terms with where she's landed, but she's trying to take it in. She's trying to describe her surroundings. I'm going to read this paragraph to you. It's a long paragraph, but it's very descriptive. We're looking at this through her eyes throughout the beginning of this book, probably the first half of it. I kept feeling this sense of, what have I done? <laughs> Get me out of here. This is what she says on page 18. I swing my head, taking a number of two quick breaths. There's no sky, just towering trees plastered with leaves as broad as wizards' cloaks. There are trees that are so big they are giants. Their heads swollen, skin peeling in rivers of bronze, their bodies armored with thorns. Birds, somewhere to my left there's a woodpecker, a macaw too, perhaps. High above there are monkeys, howlers, the same as Coco and Faustino, their screams reverberating. There are curtains of bamboo that look like they belong in medieval torture chambers. Everywhere there are mosses, lichens, cascades of acid green ferns, lianas like rope, rainbows of fungus, aliens blooming blue, purple, sunflower yellow, Trees strangle other trees. Ants make moats. They carry leaves many times their body size. Carcasses, dead things, seeds, flowers. Ants smaller than a freckle, bigger than my thumb. Strawberry red, shiny black. Ants with pinchers to stitch wounds. Beetles, their shells polished crystals toads the size of tennis balls, termite nests like beach balls, petals or splashes of yellow, copper, cobalt blue, ultramarine. There's a tree with buttresses so large I can walk between them, 
standing up and no one would find me. It's covered with mushrooms, the color of poison of primordial whirls. Isn't that great? I love it. I just wanted to share that with you. It goes on through the whole book. She describes it and she also lets us see the people, lets us hear them speak. It's a wonderful book. I am really looking forward to digging deep into and studying with life writers. You may want to check out The Puma Years by Laura Coleman and sit back with a cup of tea and maybe a British biscuit and enjoy the beauty and the treachery of living in an underfunded sanctuary in the jungle with more animals than they can accommodate and conditions only dedicated volunteers could tolerate. If you decide to read the Puma years, let us know your plans in the comment section below and then tell us what you think as you move through Laura's experience and transformation in the jungle. If you would like to read this book alongside us and learn what Laura has to teach us, then you might want to consider joining Life Writers. You can join at any time, jump in, and we will help you study this book and use it with your own writing. Remember, the only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. If you liked what you just watched, sign up to be notified of future vlog posts, Sunday stories, and upcoming events. You can click on the button down below to share this episode on social media or with a friend you think might enjoy it. So until next time, everybody, happy writing. If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a get started roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them onto the page, check out Life Writers at lifewriters.us.